Queen Esther. Hey Penzi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther. Well, guys, today Yvonne and I, Yvonne, my roommate, uh, we are going to the fairy tale museum. Have you ever guys heard of a fairy tale museum before? I know I haven't. So I actually saw a Facebook advert about the museum and I decided, you know what, we're gonna go after all. I don't have class today and the weather is good right now it was raining in the morning but right now at least the sun is out so we are actually waiting for the taxi guy to come over and then we are gonna go so you guys make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you think and also share this video okay now let's let's go let's go okay so guys we are here at the fairy tale museum and we are not sure how we are going to get in but there is a like a like a bell button bell, yeah. bell button right so we are gonna look <laughs> press the bell yes. try and get in yeah i told you that's the bell <laughs> The building you're inside is from 1910. It was built in 1910. So we kept the original floors, the original uh, ceilings, uh, and just every room is dedicated to fairy tales. Mm -hmm. The reason why this museum was created was to first celebrate our local oral folklore tradition, so our fairy tales, and then slowly became bigger. So our mission is to basically promote reading for children and adults and mm -hmm. to talk about contemporary children's literature. Uh, it's an interactive museum, so it's a touch Feel free to touch museum. Oh. This main corridor is dedicated to the biggest names in the fairy tale world in terms of writers and researchers. We start from Aesop, mm -hmm. who wrote the fables, going all the way down to Hans Christian Andersen, who is considered the father of children's contemporary children's literature. And anywhere in between, you'll find Grimm brothers uh, from Germany, and you'll find researchers like Vladimir Probe and Armin Thompson who created catalogues of fairy tales. They created big indexes so we can find different fairy tales. The little doors at the bottom you can unlock by using keys and discover little smaller rooms in this museum. So basically, we play with scale. Go ahead and feel free to like lean down and touch and see things, as well as like open openings that you find in the space. We are so guys we are currently at the fairy tale museum and you guys this place is so nice um there was a narrator who told us you know how to navigate through the museum and we're just gonna explore by, by ourselves now she instructed us on what to do and this place it's so interactive you know so yeah some of the rooms in this museum you'll just have to like push through and just go in I'm gonna open it just yet so you can discover it. They have like different books for kids. Yeah. And the books are they in Greek or they're in English? They're in Greek? Yeah, some of them are in English. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this one is in English, but this one is in Greek. Well, this one is in English. So both English and Greek. So guys, guys here you create your own story. So here it's once upon a time. Puss in boats and then where? Set of four. Yeah. Set of four. What did he set yeah, of yeah. for? Palace, right? He set off for the palace. On his way he met um let's say he met the big bad wolf. Okay okay who asked where he was going and once upon hearing what he was looking for said said say what said what is goes here or here here is me said 
this will never happen and turn him into and turn him into a, a soccer, soccer ball, ball a roller skate a frog an ant let's say a frog <laughs> and turned him into a frog here. let's say people long stockings who said if you want to return to your original form you must, you must what do you do stay at the cadabra backwards <laughs> and then he had no choice he followed the instructions and everything was restored um, he then remembered the object he had with him uh, helicopter Okay, a magic helicopter. Uh, a helicopter. Shortly before reaching his destination, he stopped by the fairy tale museum to maybe drink a soda, <laughs> drink a sour cherry soda, and he lived happily ever after. <laughs> wow. This one can open. Where it? It's too big for me. <laughs> you need to add a sound effect like da da. <laughs> I think this museum is much more interesting than the last one. Yeah, compared to the Cypress Museum, right? Because this is interactive. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Huh, what's that? You should wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. Prove to me you got some coordination. Slay, trick, or you get eliminated. It's the room called Mirror Mirror on the Wall, and it's dedicated to magic and fairy tales. Yeah. And you can open and just check it out on your own. <laughs> like the evil witch from the east, <laughs> from Queen Esther to the evil witch. <laughs> What's there? What's this? Magic helpers and donors. <laughs> ah, it's the Snow White story. Yeah, it's no it's Snow White who oh, ate the it's apple. Sweet. It's Snow White who ate the apple, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's an apple. It's, uh -huh. the, it's the Snow White story. What's this? Yeah, yeah the evil witch. Evil. The hat. Yeah, this one. Yeah, you need to put the broom. Like this. <laughs> You need to tell Snow White to eat the apple. <laughs> hmm. Is the here? What could be in these rooms? Okay. Ah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah, the witch now. Yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Of course, it's Esther, darling. It's Esther. <laughs> ah. Ah. Snow White got the apple. Poor Snow White. Okay. Which one is that? Uh, which story is that? I don't know that story. Uh, who could that be? It's, that's a flute. Yeah. I to a Still the witch's heart. And what's here? 
<laughs> no return dollars. Yeah. Hmm. It's a flute. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have holes. Or is it a, a magic wand? <laughs> Turn Esther into a fox. You didn't dare. <laughs> Flying carpet. Yeah. Aladdin, right? Yeah. Yeah, Aladdin. Uh, which one was that? What's this? Is it a music box or something? Like... I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> we didn't listen to enough stories. <laughs> mm, that's a ring. And... That's a ring. Rain? What is it? Where is this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The last one. <gasps> what are those? <laughs> They're eggs. I don't know which story that is. <laughs> So guys, now we're gonna listen to a story, like a folk story. I don't know if it's in English. No, it's not. It's Have you? Greek. Yeah, it's a Cypriot way to, yeah. of telling the story. So guys, now we are done uh, looking at things downstairs we're gonna explore upstairs this museum is so nice very informative like you get in touch with your inner childhood yeah <laughs> is for little red riding hood right this one yeah this one snow white this one the prince yeah. which prince though every prince <laughs> every prince knows this one and and how about this white one it's a jacket of the prince in it <laughs> then guys this is the literature space where you're gonna find like all the books you see cinderella so you can basically sit here and just read a book some books are in greek some books are in english so it's your choice really <laughs> Thank you.
You guys can come here and enjoy family. yourself. Yeah, family, exactly. And it's five euros for adults, I think. Oh, for all. Yeah, it's five euros yeah. for everyone, but a group of students, I think they say three euros. Oh. And I'm gonna link the. Um, they don't have a website, but you can just Google uh, Fairy Tale Museum in Nicosia and you'll get the information. They have their phone numbers online and everything. So, you guys, come and have fun. And get in touch with your childhood <laughs> okay make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel make sure you comment down below give this video a thumbs up yes and also share the video until next time